At this stage, it's absolutely no secret that Western comics are being dominated by manga. People these days are more likely to grow up knowing who Tanjiro is more than Bruce Wayne, and that's such a trip to me. But in a way, the industry has done that to themselves, and they're the only ones to be blamed for this. Look, there's been quite a few changes over the past few years. It used to be really... I used to love waking up on New Comic Book Day, going about my business, getting all my shit done, and eventually ending up at my LCS. I still love the people at my LCS. They've always treated me really good. But I rarely go in these days because very little things pique my interest when it comes to Western comic books. It's mostly indie stuff these days. And that's just such a shame, but it is also breaking a, a habit as well. And now, a lot of that attention goes to manga and anime because they've got it figured out. The anime sells the manga and the manga sells the anime. Something that Western comics cannot figure out when it's laid out in front of them how to do it. So we know that they've been getting their ass kicked by manga, and now we have just more proof of this. So, new report confirms manga artists led the US comic sales in 2022. So, we're not going to go over this whole thing. But this update comes from Comic Beat uh, as the site unpacked all the NPD book scan reports from 2022. This organization keeps track of the physical sale of graphic novels and comics, so everything from children's comics to superhero series accounted. But when it came to the year of 2022, it's seen many of the United States' top-selling creators were mangaka. So basically people that create manga as opposed to comic creators. These people are dominating. So it must be stated though that in first place is listed as Dave Pilkey, I believe is how you pronounce it. And they are not responsible for any of the manga on the market. Now this creator oversees Captain Underpants series as well as all of its spin-offs. So basically the child market right there, it's dominating the child market. So they were number one in the US. But for second place, goes to the creator of Chainsaw Man, and then it went to Demon Slayer, tied as well with third place given to the creator of Jujutsu Kaisen, and fifth place was awarded to the creator of My Hero Academia, and sixth place, the creator of Spy Family, and then also in the top ten was the creator of Berserk, you know, may he rest in peace. This just goes to show that manga creators are faring very well in the United States, and that they are listed more in the top 100 sellers. So we got people like from the creator of Attack on Titan are doing well over there. So this data comes from 2022 and confirms that just over half of all comic sales statewide were due to manga. So that's more than 50%. So they are winning. It's the, That's case closed right there. And the medium's popularity has also grew from 2021, which it was also really big in 2021. And with that massive market share, uh, manga publisher Viz Media accounts for at least 60% of physical sales in the United States thanks to its ties with Shonen Jump. So there's no denying the power of manga has these days, and its place in the United States market cannot be overlooked. I'm glad we're finally admitting it. I'm glad we're at the stage where these shill mainstream outlets can finally admit that manga is absolutely dominating them. And there's losing so much footing on the argument that manga sales should also count as comic sales. No, no. Just, just no. It's time to concede. I, you know, I grew up loving DC Comics. Some of my favorite shit ever is from DC. But there's just nothing good going on there at the moment. It's as simple and that sucks to say. I would love to be back to the days where I can go out and enjoy the latest Wonder Woman or Batman or whatever it fucking may be. But until those day comes, my advice to you would be to stick with indies, find some indie stuff you like, and try some manga. That's simple.